29 forecast. All right, as expected, uh, some sunshine this morning is giving way to more clouds here at the midday hour. Hello, I'm Storm Team, 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. There's the view outside live in Earliesville at the Charlottesville Albemarle Airport, showing us more clouds than sunshine after a bright blue sky start to the day. Now we're going to see those clouds went out for the better part of the rest of your afternoon. No rain from those clouds just yet. Temperatures are in the low 60s. We will struggle to reach 70 later on today. For the rest of the area, we are in the low, if not mid 60s from Harrisonburg, Stanton, Waynesboro, Louisa, down to Dillwyn, and the low 60s currently at Madison. And we're going to come up a few more degrees over the next few hours. Great snapshot after the April showers. You can see the Virginia bluebells and the swallowtail butterfly just enjoying that sunshine yesterday. Thanks to Camille Cookskin for that uh, great snapshot there. Send us your photos. If you haven't already, download the Storm Team 29 Weather app. You can upload your photos very simply from your smartphone or tablet. So if you see it, snap it and send it. You may see your photos here on the weather segment. NBC 29's live Doppler radar picture shows the radar recap. A couple of showers yesterday evening, but now we're seeing just a, a pretty quiet weather pattern when it comes to severe weather. That was a different story for our neighbors down to the south. Portions of North Carolina, South Carolina had several reports of hail damage high winds, even a few tornadoes not too far from the Greenville Spartanburg area. Now here at home rainfall, we had anywhere from a half inch to an inch of rain on Saturday evening. It was a good soaking rainfall for your lawn and garden. There's a live radar scan coming back completely rain free despite those clouds. But later on this afternoon, some of those clouds will produce a ground dampening shower. It's all part of a low pressure area, a pocket of cold air up in the clouds, and that's producing some more clouds our weather a little unsettled and perhaps a rain shower. Now the area most favored for a shower today is mainly near and north of I-64 and especially more towards Route 33 and north. So Harrisonburg, Elkton into Rockersville, Sandersville, Orange to Culpeper, you may see a shower chance between say 2 to 6 p.m. And then after sunset, any rain shower will begin to fade away. Partly cloudy overnight with lows back in the 40s and the 50s. One more day tomorrow with 60s and low 70s with some more breaks of sunshine, followed by a cooler weather pattern for the middle and end of the week. And it looks like daytime highs will struggle to get out of the 50s, especially for the valley as we go into Thursday. Next best chance for April showers will be Wednesday. We may get up to a quarter inch of rainfall, followed by a drier and cooler weather pattern on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and maybe another weak system in the next Sunday to Monday time frame. For today in your Storm Team 29 report, mostly cloudy skies, a spotty shower, mainly north of I-64 with highs in the 60s to near 70 degrees. For tonight, partly cloudy, a light breeze, lows in the 40s to low 50s. Tuesday's outlook, a little bit of an uptick in temperature with perhaps a few more breaks of sun, low 70s to upper 60s from Harrisonburg, Stanton, Waynesboro, Charlottesville to Louisa and Orange. Here's your seven day forecast 40s and 50s tomorrow night, 60s on Wednesday with April showers, then a drying trend Thursday, Friday in the 60s by day, 40s at night, and maybe another week system a week from now. But uh, Thursday, Matt, the valley may not get out of the 50s for high temperature, so a big swing in temperature compared to the last few days. Yeah, okay. Well, we're still in the spring, so we get those ups and downs. <laughs> exactly. Like always. Thank you, Josh.